TV shows are more inclusive than ever, and the number of minorities represented on television keeps going up. So why all the controversy about lesbians? Over the years, television shows have become more inclusive of lesbians, from the subtlest subtext Becomes a shining castle built for two, me and you to completely out and proud lesbians. But I guess what I've realized is that I am gay. In fact, lesbians make up around 20% of all LGBT characters portrayed on television these days. But that doesn't mean that all of these lesbians are portrayed in a positive light. There are still very harmful tropes on television, which I'm going to talk about right now. Sometimes on TV, characters die because, well, people die. This isn't anything controversial or new. But this becomes controversial when LGBT people never seem to have happy endings. This is called the barrier gaze trope, or in this case, dead lesbian syndrome. Whether it's for shock value or to further the development of another character, killing off lesbians seems to be one of the most common tropes on TV nowadays. Despite the rising numbers for representation of LGBT people in primetime television, the rates of their deaths are rising too. In the fall 2015-2016 TV season, 25 queer female characters were killed off. This makes up 25% of all female deaths at that time and 10% of all character deaths at that time. In March of 2016, there was an outcry from fans of the dystopian show The 100 after killing off beloved lesbian character Lexa. While the show was known for having no mercy for killing off its characters, the almost insignificance of Lexa's death made this even worse. Seeing this powerful leader and warrior being killed off in such a nonchalant way sparked outrage from the viewers, even prompting an apology from the showrunner Jason Rothenberg himself. But it's not just about Lexa. Lesbians have been killed off for years. This trope began in the 50s with pulp lesbian novels. Homosexuality was not allowed to be portrayed in a positive light, so in order to get their work published, writers would give these characters an unhappy ending. But this harmful trope continues in TV, movies, and all kinds of media today. One of the most notable instances of this on TV is in 2002 on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, where Tara got killed in an eerily similar manner to the way Lexa was just killed a few years ago. To make matters worse, that same week a queer woman of color was introduced on The Magicians and she killed herself two scenes later. Also that week, Denise on The Walking Dead got an arrow through the eye in the middle of a giant monologue when in the comics that arrow was meant for a white guy. On The Vampire Diaries, a gay witch couple decided to kill themselves together instead of just one of them dying, so two queer women died that week. I'm not saying that no lesbian can ever get killed off in TV shows. I'm just saying that all lesbians on TV shouldn't be killed in one go. In the end, I think it's time we bury the barrier gaze trope once and for all. Tune in next week where I'll be talking about harmful tropes for bisexuals on TV. See ya!